Hey everybody, how's it going? Karen here. It is time for Tuesday night festivities. Uh, Hinato is not here yet, as per usual. Uh, tonight, massive show. Big Dan Hooker is going to be on the show. I am so excited about this. Really looking forward to this. Uh, he'll be joining us in a little bit. He is currently, I believe he said, at uh, either wrestling practice or something. So he's in Vegas. And he will be joining us, though, very soon. Uh, so until then, Hanato and I certainly have a lot of things to talk about. So for sure, if you have any questions, get him in here. But we will talk about some recent fight announcements. Maybe we'll talk about some of the fights that are coming up this weekend, some things that happened in the past uh, weekend. So just, you know, if you've got stuff, let us know. But here, let's do the roll call. What's up, Chuck Hugh Farley? What up, Bradley Peterson, 1999? What up, Kyoto Gospel with the roses? Yeah, Rose was so great last week, wasn't she? Uh, what up, Lee567? What's up, Topley? What's up, SVH1968? Dan is the man, isn't he? What it's, uh, Trebla Deba UFC? Hello from Aruba. Oh, Aruba. I want to go there. You know, I'm half Jamaican, but I've never been to Aruba. I've been to St. Uh, what, St. Croix and uh, a couple other places. Definitely want to check that out. So, hello from the islands for sure. Hello, Rain City Deeps. So I have been to Canada. I've been to Canada several times. Always had a good time. Uh, will not apologize for it. Although the toughest customs agent I ever felt dealt with, I felt it, I didn't feel, the other uh, uh, ever dealt with was uh, a Canadian. She did not believe me that I worked on TV. And I may or may not have been smuggling Cohibas back. <laughs> anyway, um, hey, okay, so what's up, the legend of uh, Fizrael? What kind of celly do I have? Well, I am doing this off of my iPad, um, but I make sure that I clean the lens off. It's like a real basic thing, but uh, it helps. Um, but I use a Samsung. I am a Samsung girl, although I am desperately in need of a new one. Everything is on back order, really trying to get a new one. I can't yet. Hi, Samsung, if you're watching. <laughs> yeah. And um, yes, those are some characters from uh, Hunter Hunter that my daughter turned me on to. And I like the bad guys because that's how I roll. Uh, anyway, all right. What up, uh, Lobo Wavy? What up, Glenn Wyatt? Hello. What up? Um, okay. So as I said, Hanato will be here soon. And we are going to have Dan Hooker on um you know, actually, Hanato and I have a lot of questions about New Zealand in general, so we will be asking him about that, but he's going to be fighting uh, Israel, uh, Mach um, Israel Makhachev over at UFC 267, so Dan will be heading over to Abu Dhabi soon, but luckily for us, he stayed in the States after uh, his win over Hakrast, so we are able to have him on our own time zone here to have a, a conversation with him. But I will be back in the saddle this weekend for UFC Vegas 40. We have Aspen Ladd versus Norma Dumont in the main event, and I'm excited to see Aspen moving up in weight. We know what happened a couple weeks ago. She was supposed to fight Macy Chasson, had some issues on the scale. It didn't go, uh, so the fight didn't happen. And uh, so now Aspen will be moving up to face Norma at 145. So that will be quite interesting. Um, looking forward to seeing that and work, working that fight. Andre Arlovsky is in our co-main event and we got a lot of great people on that card. So, uh, all right, so let's see. Okay, okay, let me go through some more questions. A lot of people, okay, oh, listen to this. Hi, Dean, hi, Joey, Wowie V. My frankincense does smell pretty good. Um, I set the scene with some frankincense because my partner in crime here, Hanato, uh, does say that that is the, oh, hi, yeah. Hanato, how are you? No, I, I'm never better, look at me. You look uh, good. Yeah, I look rested, I look well. Are you rested and are you well? Yeah, I feel pretty good, you know, we on top of the world, a lot of the people in the, um, in the MMA community is talking about us, you know, and the, the show. Know. And, it seems like we've took that one by star. I I think so. If you know, here's the thing, Hanato. I like to. I'm just trying to adjust my. Because once you come on, you know, the whole the whole vibe of the room like changes. But well, yeah, um, it starts to heat up in here. It does get a little warmer. Um, I agree with you. I feel like uh, what we're doing here together has kind of caught on pretty quickly, which is really cool. And I've seen some really nice comments from people saying they like what we do and they like the vibe and stuff. So again, Hanato, thank you for um, agreeing to spend your Tuesdays with me because I know you're probably very busy. Yeah, I'm a very busy man, but I, I always got time to, uh, it's like I try to give back, you know, 
by doing the stuff with you. It's like I try, I'm trying to hitch back. What they say, like, I'm trying to throw a hope ladder down to the one, you know, so that yeah, we don't not, feel I, like a crabs in a barrel, you know, instead, I'm, why are you calling it? Like when you, you hitch back and you help the other, the other ones with less work. Yeah, you like you're extending a helping hand and you're helping others. It's I don't know if it's a reach back. It's yeah, just... or like you 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 yeah, you you pay it forward, but in my case it's pay back backward. Because you know I'm I'm ahead on success, you know. Okay, well I don't really understand what you're saying, but okay. Um I we have Dan Hooker on tonight. Uh ah. he is really great. Um, so he, you know, he's been on a tear and he just fought a couple weeks ago against, uh, Nasrat Hakbarast. He's going to be going over to Abu Dhabi to fight Israel Makhachev. And I just thought it was really Excuse cool me? to be able to have him because Wait. he's not usually on our time zone. So Excuse I thought it would be cool. Uh, uh, on that back, talk about, I don't understand what you said. You just said he's going to fight in Israel and then he's going to fight. And then you went, <coughs> and you, 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 it sounded like you sneeze or you was cleaning your throat. Okay. Take a second here because... I think you may you you might need some Claritin D. I mean, you need some D, but you also need Claritin D. Okay, because every time you talk about uh, this fight with Dan Hooker and, and whoever the fuck you you go you go uh, you go yeah, he's gonna be in Israel uh, and <laughs> I'm sure. Okay, he's okay. I want to back it up. I might need some Claritin because it has been incredibly windy here in LA. Yeah. It have been wind, yeah, a lot of wind there. I might need Claret and D. Yeah, um, it, you need to clarify that you need D. So go ahead. I'm not going to talk about the D, but Dan Hooker is yeah. fighting Islam Makhachev at UFC 267 in Abu Dhabi. Okay, so now you, you first you said he's fighting Israel. No, now he's... you're saying he's fighting Islam. I think that's true. Very different stuff. <laughs> they are very different. Yeah. And if I misspoke and said Israel, I was wrong. He's fighting Islam. I think, I, I think, I think because uh, you know that he's friend with Israel Arasan. I think that's what you know? it is. And I think then you said that. But sure. wow, that's a tall order. He's going to went to Dubai and try to fight Islam. And yes. also he's going to fight Mah what's the guy's Mahatma? What? His name is Islam Makhachev, and he's incredibly good. Yeah, and... he's... Yeah, I understand. Everybody there on Dubai, everybody's religion is Islam. We got that cover. What is the guy's first name? You say his name is, Mah Ma is Makhachev, <laughs> and then he's, he study Islam. But what's the difference? What's his fucking name, the guy? Not his religion. Dan Hooker will be fighting Islam Makhachev. At UFC 267. Okay, let's just let's just agree and disagree. Is let's move moving on. But I see where you might be confused. But Islam is his name. Help me it's in the is comments, Islam please. Okay, you got it, Karen. You hide. You hide. It's true. Yeah, it is true. So it is what's true. the next uh, next question? Because I'm not going to get into this today. Look, when Dan gets here, we can ask him about it. But Dan well, is fighting. Uh, yeah, he's he, he going to clarify that one for me. He'll and then it. you're going to have you're going to have to eat a crow. You're going to have eggs on your face. Islam is a is really incredibly um, uh, like a lot of people say no to Islam. A lot yeah, of it's a religion of peace, but a lot of people say no to that one because I think they. They have you some misconception, but I don't want to get into a thing about religion and politics and stuff like that. Let's I'm see. not talking about religion. I'm talking about Karen it. Bryant. I'm not gonna yell. Why are you yell? Why are you yelling? Why are you <laughs> just yelling? frustrated because you don't oh. understand. Why are you yelling? I'm calm. Why are you yelling at me? People are saying you're very patient today. Somebody's yelling. I didn't say nothing. I, look, I'm calm. I'm calm. You are listen, how's your puppy? How's listen your to puppy? my tone. She's fine. F for once in the f for fucking life, she, she's just uh, laying there, curl in a bow. Uh, I, I'm not gonna jinx that one before okay. she comes start hopping my leg and breathing down my fucking neck for her. I love that one, but God, are you? But sometimes we, she we gets hate a little... the ones we love the most. God, are you? I know. I, she does get a little frisky. Okay, so 
Um, again, I, I want to, maybe we have some time to take some questions before. I want to let everybody know who's just joining here. Um, Dan Hooker will be joining us. He told me uh, that yesterday he said, oh, I'm going to jump in in a little bit. I'm going to be coming out of practice. Um, yeah. you know, he's, he's in Vegas and stuff. So we will talk uh, to Dan Hooker in just a bit. But um, Hinato, a lot of people seem to really respond well to our interview. And I will say maybe even more so, if I'm honest, your, your stuff that, with Rose last week. People really like that. Oh, the stuff with Halls. Oh, well, Halls, what, nobody liked that one more than Halls. She was light up like a Christmas tree. She was, I never seen her so vital and so, so happy. She's in a great place now that she's, she's connect with me, you know? Um, yeah, even well, if it's from afar, you know? Yeah, I she, think, she did seem to be in a really good mental space, but I think that's because just like, she got a lot, I mean, I'm not discounting what you did for her, but I'm just saying Rose is like a, a really great girl. And like, she's just. I think so too. I, I think that it, it gave her some hope, you know? I gave to her like some kind of hope and some for the future, you know? Okay, cool, yeah. I agree, I agree. Okay, so I wanted to get your thoughts on a couple of things. We, uh, let me just double check. Okay, yep, not here yet. Um, a, a couple of things, some fight announcements. Wait, before we start that, yeah. I just, because I don't, I know we talked about this. Is my lighting's okay? Are you, I need more light, yes. You actually look pretty good. I know you told a little me I dark. Look like, I'm filming in Del Taco. Well, no, you, 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 you have this more softer lightings now, but I tried not to have too much shadow. The people here, can you see my face? I know that, that, that uh, Karen was designed this, the app so that the scroll is going over my fucking face here. So people got to hit between the line and, and kind of imagine what your uncle Hanach look, look, I got to go here. Look, I, are you? there I am. And look there, th look, I'm in between that one. Hi. I, but that's okay. I, I, I see I, you. I see you. Okay. I didn't I, design it. This okay. Way. If you remember, Hanato. Yeah. We had a conversation where I said, "Hey, do you want to initiate the live sometime so that you're bigger?" Well, I, I'm said, trying to be a no, gentleman. Because no, you couldn't be bothered. I'm trying to be a gentleman, but I guess no good deed is go un unpunished here. You know, I give you a 12 inches and you take a mile. Oh, God, are you? I'll take that mile. Yeah, you'll take the 12 inch first, boy, huh? And then you're gonna take a, a, a couple of miles uh, out of, away from my house, boy, huh? I'm gonna send you in an Uber. Uh, what's, what's lower than an Uber? Lift, what's worse than both of that ones? I'm gonna send you in the cheapest one pass. Is there, is, honestly, is there a thing, like I usually use Lyft because Uber is more rapey, I've heard. So, but is there like, is that like a status thing? That no, I think, no, I don't think it's like that. I think it's the same shit, you know? But I wish there was one, if, let's just say this, if there was one that's like the spirit airline of a high chair, I'm gonna send you on that one for her. Because I mean, I gotta save my, I, I, I gotta be frugal for her. I gotta think about me. Oh God, are you? What would this? Oh, my is... cat is sneezing now. It's always fucking something. But honestly, the the Spirit Airlines of 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 car services that that's like a that's actually pretty funny. What I'm gonna that invent that one. Like a panel van, like where you just all pile in the back and. Like... Well, you know what's pretty shitty? The super shuttle, the one that's that that <laughs> that you go to the airport. Oh God, are you? I don't like that one. That sucks. People well, are saying, send me for a walk. Really? Yeah, you can get a brisk walk, but it's probably too far. It, anyway. Yeah, I think it was. Okay. So listen, um, question, uh, a couple of questions. Um, somebody is asking you, Hanato, how did you become a high roller? How um, did I become a high roller? Yeah, well, because aren't you they, doing that again this weekend? Yeah, I am. I'm going to do it, it, you know, uh, funny enough, I'm doing that one. We're going to be on Saturday, the 16th, and it's going to be ladies night, you know? So, you know, it, and you know, it, what do you gonna, do for us on ladies night? Well, uh, you're gonna have to tune in and found out. Um, but yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna saw the one that's gonna be like a magic mic, uh, uh, point two point oh, the one or XXL or whatever. Um, yeah, and I'm have you, 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 you partner, I have Angela Hill is my psychic there. Look, you have a big lawn is in there from high haulers, yeah, nice. okay, nice, okay, very nice, yeah, so Auntie. Angela Hill, my What Had Happened Was podcast, Pat Pastor, yeah. what had happened was, uh, we dropped a new one yesterday, 
Yes, yeah, she's doing high rollers with you. But here's the thing, Hanach. I will be in Vegas because I'm working this weekend too. I'm working the UFC fights. You're stalking and a couple me. Weeks ago, I You're was stalking me. You oh. was like, hey, is, you was like, hey, I, I, um, he's gonna be out here. Is there any? Is there? You got any more of them? You got any more of them uh, UFC events out there? <laughs> uh, 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 maybe one that's uh, on the same time, uh, Hanatu Laranja. Yeah, yeah, of course. You gotta be there. If I'm there, you gotta be there now. You don't want me to get one fucking one uh, edgewise for her. I'm, I might be a little bit possessive of you now, Hanato. It's ladies night and I might be a little territorial. Yeah, you you don't want me to be with hoes. You don't want me to be with these other chicks, these jujitsu chicken head. What, what, who can I be with these days? You can Cara? be with them. I just You're smothering your, me, Poha. You're smothering me. As your friend, I want to make sure you're with quality girls. Is all. Okay, that's fair enough. That's what I'm saying. Will you do it's, the same for me? Sure, of course. Uh, but uh, what if I want to be with just quantity girl instead of quality? Hey, get out of here. The cat is came now. Oh, poor okay. heart. But yes, I actually want to come over to High Rollers after work. Um, last time I did, it was really cool. And last time I did, uh, Jorge Masvidal was there. You were working with Jorge Masvidal. And I wanted to get yeah. your take. Uh, as again, for folks who are just joining us to let you know, Dan Harker mm -hmm. will be here. And I got to double check that he's not here yet. Mm -hmm. Nope. He's still at practice, but he said he'll be joining us. So Dan We're Harker We're talking about be... practice. He's still at practice? Yeah, he's training. He's still at practice. Not a game. <laughs> not, a, not a fucking game that he's die and, and do everything he can. And he die on the court. Right. Practice. I, I think it's funny too, Karen. I think it's funny too. We're sitting here talking about practice. When we should be talking about other shit. I know. But anyway, go ahead. But yeah, so Dan, Dan will be here in a bit. Um, but um, but uh, I wanted to say, so the last time you did High Rollers, you were working with uh, Jorge Masvidal. I went over yeah. there. I yeah, what a, what, a, what a mitzvah for Jorge. I know. Um, he was, he was, he was excited for me too, like hoes. He was like, a, uh, he was just giddy. He was feeling good about that. I know. I know he was very excited. But I wanted to get your take on the fact that they have now announced that Jorge Masvidal will fight Leon Edwards. Uh, they will fight in December. Of course, we know famously back in 2019, there was the three-piece and the soda combo. At the yeah, O2 he gave Arena. him that one. I was, the, I was Wait, there. he gave him a three-piece or a two-piece? That's piece. the night Michael Bisping got put in the Hall of Fame. Um, Karen, did he, he give him a three-piece or a two-piece? I think it was a three-piece. Piece. God, I, that's embarrassing if he gave him a... Can you imagine he gave him a, a full three-piece? So he gave him a one, two, and a three? I think he did. Oof. But what that says that he didn't knock them out with three a three-piece, God, I... Well, but it was right after Jorge had knocked out Darren Till. So oh, that's high. Oh. Oh, my boy, Darren Chill. God, I, I, you. That, I didn't saw that coming. It was tough. N neither did Darren Paul, huh? No. So, so, but I'm curious what your take is on that because I imagine you and Jorge are homies now from working on um, uh, on the high rollers. Wow. But Leon Edwards is incredibly good. He's very good. You know, the last time we yeah. saw Leon, uh, he was beating Bilal. We know there was an eye thing, but then there was also the Nate Diaz fight. Yeah. Um, and so I'm just curious because Leon is very, very good and he's a fighter that I feel doesn't maybe get enough respect, but he's very, very good. Masvidal is beloved and like I love Jorge too. Yeah, so. he's a fan favorite. He's like a cult hero. Um, yeah, you know, so I'm really looking forward to it, but I'm just curious what your take is on that. Well, it's a tough one, you know. Um, um, you know, I've always been a fan of Masvidal the way he fight, you know, from the beginning. And then we we when we hung out the first time, you know, for the first time at that thing, you know, he's we got along. You know, he was he he was cool. He you know he was um he was fun to you know he had a good sense of humor. He was like a you know, he, he he was great, but also, I like Leon Leon Edward, you know, but I don't know him personally, you know, but I like the way he fights. So as a fight fan, it's like, I know this is going to be a good one, you know, because you have the bad blood plus the skill set. I think it's a perfect matchup that the style, you know, the styles make you fight, you know, they say. And and, and uh, I, I, I think as a, I can't see this one not being exciting for him. Yes. No one's going to play safe and all that bullshit. They're going to try to kill each other. I and, agree. you know, of course, we like that. We want them to try to fucking kill each other. 
because we are a piece of shit. I know. I and think we don't care really, about people. I think it's going to be really good. But but the other question is. You Wait, know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I got to acknowledge this one comment this guy just said. Those, nigg those English niggas eat baked beans for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. They do. That I'm is sorry, weird, that, isn't it? I, I, I'm sorry, but that that got you. That 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 comment chugged on my heart stringy. Um, who was the fucking guy who said that? No, that oh. was very good. That was oh. very good. That's Joel Lewis, forty-eight. That just knocked me out, poor heart. Yeah, that is very it, good. That that that. Welcome to America. Uh, they're gonna boil it down to the essence. There, he just said those. He said, never mind all that shit. Uh, those niggas eat baked beans for breakfast. So what, I, I don't that know mean, if that means he's tough or, or he don't like that. That's what I was going to say. What does that mean? Does that mean he's going to win because he eats beans for breakfast? Well, because you could dismiss him off that. You could be like, man, that nigga eat baked beans for breakfast. <laughs> or you could be like, this nigga eat baked beans, beans for breakfast. Beans for, for breakfast. This nigga eat baked beans for breakfast. These niggas ain't playing out here. So You're I don't right. know if he's supposed to be uh, tough or not. But I know that those guys, you know, uh, there's a common misconception in like, at least in America, where they think that that people in England or the UK is soft, and they, I think they they think it's still Oliver Twist chimes or something. People selling host chestnuts and bullshit like that. Right. They don't realize that there's some chuff chuff fucking people out there in some chuff area. You get stabbed. You get you get lit on fire and shit like that. I mean, they got all kind of shit. The curb stop you. Um, but people somehow think in America, like maybe because the cop don't have guns. Uh, you know, right. the patrolmen don't wear, wear guns. I think they think it, it's like soft out there and they that's a misconception for her. Yeah. How come the, 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 the fucking uh, comments just stop uh, from on my side here? Did they? Yeah. Well, no, they're still, they're still going here. People have some questions. Well, um, I can't see nothing. Ever since I made the comment about the, the bakey bean, now- Oh no, people are talking to Frijoles, Argy Santoya saying Frijoles. I want to see how, how I can get back on I the don't, fucking- I don't know, baby, just scroll maybe. Hey, I, any other people here, how the fuck I do this here? I'm just scrolling. Um, oh, but, um, hmm. ah, but well, I guess, I guess Jack, you're going to have to tell Jack me. Jack Foster 82 says he's from California and he eats beans for breakfast and he feels stupid every time. Oh God, Argy. Well, okay. but he eat the bean like the Mexican bean. That's different. These guys eat like the kind of bean, the Boston baked bean. You know, the kind of with the fucking sugar and shit like that. Yeah, the, no, I'm from Boston. Syrup. I know about Boston baked beans, and they are they are good. Yeah, let's not get on beans because we talked too, too much about that in the last podcast. Okay, so here's a question for you, Hanato. Before, like I said, Dan Hooker will be joining us. Uh, I know earlier he was over at the um, Contender Series fights, and he also uh, has some practice and stuff. So he will be joining us in just a few minutes. Until then, we will answer some of your questions. So somebody is asking you, Hanato. Yeah. Um, is it true that you were in Sex in the City? Yeah, I was in that one long time ago. Really. Yeah, How did I play, that work out? I play like a gay Cuban guy. Um, yeah, but the fucked up stuff they they did, it was like a heel small hole. And, and at the time, um, I just took the chance on the audition and I just started improv after my line. Really? Said, Fuck it, because I was just like, you know what? I'm not getting booking anything anyway. So I just came in with a full character and I started going off the hails, you know? And cool. it was one of those one stuffs where they were like, I love this guy, you know, like blah, blah, blah. So the plan was to let me just to go off and onto my own. Like, that would have been amazing. Yeah. And then I did that. But, um, but the fucked up stuff was, um, it was, oh, God, I, it was a hitchly part of a montage, a montage, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, so, so, um, I had to, uh, so I was only supposed to say like one stuffs in the in the first thing. So in order to keep the stuffs that they had me saying, they had the fucking, when I saw what I did on, on the screen, it was there, but you hear fucking, what's her name? Uh, uh, um, talking Carrie. over it. She's talk over the thing she was going. And then by the, so she's telling the audience what's going on between me and what's her name? Um, you know, the, the, the slutty one? No, the, the, the one oh, that- Samantha. So Samantha and I was kicking her out of a of a of a fashion show because she was like um, she was on the on the and the no no list you know because she she upset some high society gotcha, person gotcha, like that. Gotcha. So I was like, Mira, you gotta take it out of here. You gotta 
no, you're not invited. You're not inviting, you know? And I, and I, I, I like check her out and I have my assistant to kick her out. And it was funny, but um, she was talking over. She go, by the time Samantha did blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, oh. shut the fuck up, God, are you? Uh, you, you, your uncle Hernach is working over here. I was just gonna say it's yeah. Hernando's moment. Yeah, but, and then you know what's the fucked up thing is the producers and stuff was gassing me up because they liked this character that I made. They said, oh, what if we had this guy be a thorn in her side, like in, in he current, like, uh, you know, in later episodes, oh, she showed, you know, she comes to a thing, like some high society thing or some restaurant or whatever. And then, and then oh, this not, fucking though. guy is here, you know? And then, so they gassed me up. I'm going back on the train. I was like, you know, here I go, you know, from the streets of, you know, from the favela. And then now right. to being an uh, A-list uh, act. And then, you know, cut to, you know, fucking 20 years later and look, tw 25 years later, I'm on the fucking uh, festivities podcast, uh, hustling for, for nickels for Hakaran. I'm sorry. Wow. Because that would have been incredible if Hinato became a character on Sex and the City. Because I've seen yeah. every episode of that show. Uh, I really like that show. Well, and I my, would have loved to see episode, Hinato on it. My episode probably didn't resonate with you because you don't even fucking remember me on there. I don't. Yeah. <laughs> So that's how much, how impressed, I, re impressed. I remember a lot of episodes. I don't remember the Hinato episode. And I'm very sorry that you did it, that it wasn't. Because honestly, honestly, though, Hinato, you probably would have just taken over the show. If I, if I, they probably knew you would have. There was, if I'm honest, they was jealous from me. That's what I'm saying. What the to be honest is... with you now, Hinato, it's hard working with you. Yeah, and because... I've, said, yeah. I've said this before. Um, being the second most attractive person on the show is not easy. Listen, you're always gonna be number two in my book. And 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 when I said that, you know, you gotta remember this, Karen Branch. Uh, you know, number two is also in America at least, it stands for the shit. Right, it's poo. No, but the shit. It's like you the shit. So just remember that if anybody says, you know, okay, if anybody tried to remind you that you're the second most attractive on here, you got to think to myself, yeah, I may be the second most attractive out of a, out of two, but God damn it, I'm the shit. I'm the shit. Okay. So that's important. Okay. You know, don't let everyone to take that from you, uh, Cam Branch. That I'm number two? Well, you remember that, God, are you? That I'm number two. Yeah. Can you hear the kitty is purring here? Kitty? Purring. You can't see that one? I oh I can see your kitty. Hi kitty. What's your kitty's name? That's Olive. Olive? Yeah, like the olive oil. Well, okay, get, get out of here now. Fuck off. Uh -huh. Okay, oh wait. So there's my okay, so my horn and halo friend is here. She thinks you're hot, Hanato. Oh, who's your horn what's horn and halo god are you? She's do you, if you like to eat, she's an incredible cook. Like she cooks the most delicious food and when you see if people should follow horn and halo on instagram okay i'm gonna you follow see her food one. like you literally are like ah, 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 ah. Oh, it yep. makes you want to touch yourself it's so good oh, it's the like... horn. What, the, what kind of horn i gotta i gotta get to her a horn god are you uh, <laughs> a, a horn of plenty no it's the, the horn and the halo meaning the horn is like the devil oh the, and the devil halo is a good so she makes food like she'll make food that's bad like quote unquote bad ah. meaning it's got all the calories and that's the devil with the horns and then she'll make like lighter versions of things with the halo, but like all of it is unbelievably good. Wow, and she makes like a an amazing friendly. girl. She got me so drunk that I don't remember what happened. But is she fine now too? Or is she just- Of course. She's like a big girl. Of that's course. Made, uh, she she's, is a lovely human being that yeah. any man would be lucky to have. Well, yeah, um, well, we can talk about that. We can we can we can see what's the special this month. Yeah. Yeah, the special. She. I don't know if she. Okay. So let me see. Let me let me, let me scroll through. Oh, I think there's a couple more questions for you. Until uh, like I, I said, can't Dan see Hooker. nothing. They went away. God, are you? Oh you know no, what? I have them. Dan Hooker will be here. Can we in a, do in this? Can, can I hang up and then send another request so I can see the fucking comments? Um. Yes. If you want to do that, go ahead and do. Yeah. That. Let me to do that. How I get out of here? Oh yeah. Yeah. I think okay. you just hang up. I don't know. Hang up. Okay. Hi, folks. I'm going to let Hinato back in in a second. But if you have any questions for him, 
just go ahead and put him in here. But Dan Hooker is going to be here any second. And I'm so excited because honestly, both of us have just so many questions about New Zealand in general. Um, both of us, Hanatsu and I have been to Australia, but neither have been to New Zealand. And we kind of think they're keeping it as like a secret for all of themselves. So we actually have a lot of questions about New Zealand uh, that we will be asking Dan in any second. Okay, so let's see if Hanato can, if he can get his, um, his uh, questions in now. Shots fired. Shots have definitely been fired, Joshua Cruz. Oh, hi, Hanato. Oh, I'm back. But now, wait, okay, I'm back. Can you see the questions now? Oh, yeah, wait, hold on. Okay, does, does it say this is better? Does it say... Yeah, this does, is does better. Does Joe Hogan work on the CIA? People love it. Yes. If Joe yeah. Hogan was in the, on the CIA, how the fuck I'm going to know for her? I know, I know. That I would know, mean I that know. I work how on the CIA. Know? Look, they're not paying me enough to work on the fucking CIA for her. I wish I worked the CIA. I would, I would turn you guys in and get the reward for her. People are telling you to just scroll and that you don't really know how to work the IG. No, the, no, it, it wouldn't scroll. Trust, trust me. It scrolled now that I did the he, the he wire that one. I think it's because it's you live, not my live. Uh, so I don't have the same control. Again, I told you. Oh, look. The, if you want to be the guy. Look the properties of my skin, Chong. Look at that one. Here's the thing, Hanato. I yeah. feel like... Um, I know, we, like I said, we could do this on yours, and you can be the big, the big person or whatever. I just feel like you... Might I don't want to hang on your parade. Slightly less responsible than I am. Oh, yeah. The cat. <laughs> You're making me fucking sneeze. Get out of here. This cat is, is take my energy and my life sort. No, not tonight. Not, not now. Why do you have a pussy cat if you are allergic to a pussy no. cat? Well, good fucking question. But I have this. I have, I, I have three of that one. And, and it, 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 I had them so long, I don't even notice that one until just now. God, are you? Maybe I am. Maybe that's why I... I'm don't, I didn't hit the success that I should. This cat is fucking holding me back. Yeah. That's why things didn't pan out, God. I, it's the fucking cat. If I didn't have the allergy, then maybe things would have been different. The, the, the P is holding you back from your success? Yeah, pussy is always responsible for my downfall. Oh, God. I, you wish. Yeah, pussy is, is if, if I didn't need it, pussy, I would get a lot more done and I would not care about hanging out uh, with people that's, that, that's, I don't know. God, are you? You know, Renato, um, a couple weeks ago, uh, and as I said, we're waiting for Dan Hooker here. A couple weeks ago, you and I talked about Glengarry Glenn Ross. Yeah, we talked about that one. A movie we like very much. Um, in the meantime, have there been any, have you been watching anything? Is there anything new on your like horizon? Are you have I been watching anything? Uh, what the fuck did I watch? Do you play games? Like I don't know what you do. No, in I your don't free play time. any fucking games. I'm not playing games. Yeah. It's you guys. Speaking of pussy, it's it's you guys that play all the game. You don't play Twitch? you're not on Twitch? I try no, I'm not talking about that kind of games. I tried to tell them in in the beginning that I just wanna keep this thing casual. And they said they understand. Oh, those kind of games. And they said they understand. And then eventually they go, well, I, I changed. I, I have feeling now. I can't help. And I go, listen, you know, God, I, I say, I got to share myself with the rest of people here. What, what is your dating policy at, while, we're, while we're on the subject? Because well, uh, in, 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 as it pertains to what? Are you the type that like do you have a few girls at a time are you do you like to have just one at a time you know you know my 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 situation is like i try to keep i don't you might think if you're single you want to overload that one with all kind of but that can exhaust the fuck out of you too you know because you're giving your energy a lot you know i mean even if you're not seeing that ones to juggle all the emoji and the fucking like Hey, what are you doing today? What did you do today? Uh, how are you? <laughs> and the memes and all the fucking bullshit. To do that with like three, four, five chicks is like, it's too exhaust, you know? 
Um, because I, wouldn't, gonna, I, I don't know, yeah. actually. Well, they're not going to let you to get away with just not talking to them and then you just make an appointment to fuck that once, you know? So you got to keep, you got to keep slow hosting that one over, like during the period of the week for her. Do you, I know, and, I, and we always say that we have, uh, we're here for dating advice and stuff for people as well. Do you find that, that um somebody said a hangman is here but i don't see that one i don't i don't see him yet uh, oh here he is yes all right cool i was gonna say we have a bunch of relationship questions which we can get to um afterwards but I... now we are <laughs> oh, God, are you? Damn, hooker. oh damn hook hi thank you so much hello oh, we thought you was gonna play hooky we thought you was playing hooky on us for a second there we was like what the fuck is this guy I'm at, uh, I'm, at, I'm at wrestling. I just finished wrestling. Oh, I hope it's not going to be like when we had me have when you can't. Are you in the PI? No, nah, no, nah, I'm down at uh, Syndicate. Syndicate MMA in uh, Las Vegas. Oh, okay. Nice. Okay, Karagi. Nice. Well, first and foremost, thank you so much. And yeah, I think you'll be okay. It's funny because Syndicate, for those who don't know, whenever we go to Vegas and we're working, Dan, all of us stay in that Holiday Inn that's basically across the street <laughs> from Syndicate. Oh, oh, hi. Not the Holiday Inn. <laughs> yeah, 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 it's terrible. But that scooter club is like where we all go, and it's t and it's trash. But but Syndicate is great. So who were you wrestling with tonight? Um, so my wrestling coach Frank Hickman. Uh, he's he's coaching here. So I was lucky enough that he was coaching in Las Vegas. Usually he's based in Thailand, but um, he was he's coaching here five nights a week wrestling. So I'm wrestling every morning, every night. Uh, working at the PI, streaming and listening, so it's, I got, I got everything I need, so I'll be, yeah, I'll be more than prepared. So you coach, I thought, I thought your coaches was in New Zealand for him. I, uh, they are, all of them, <laughs> all of them but are, but, he's uh, in Thailand. He usually, Frank Hickman uh, and his brother George, they usually work out of a, a gym there in Phuket, but, uh, is he Kiwi because they're like, no, nah, he's uh, American. Oh, from uh, okay. Never mind from, that. Uh, never mind. Nah, he's a, he's an American, so um, getting plenty of those good rounds. There's uh, plenty of uh, solid American wrestlers to to chuck me around here at the gym. Yeah. Well, I have to ask because you are going to be fighting Islam Makhachev at UFC two sixty seven. Oh, here we go. Here we go with this shit. Dan, I'm sorry. Hanato is a little confused. You are fighting Islam, though, and Islam is 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 intimidating. Um, a lot of people say no to that fight. So why did you say yes? Uh, because it got offered to me. Because it, uh, I was here, I was here in Las Vegas. I was looking at uh, going back to New Zealand and to lock down New Zealand's, like where I'm from, Auckland is like completely shut down. Gyms are closed. So it's it was pretty easy choice for me. Go back to New Zealand and, and sit in sit in a hotel room or, or fly to Abu Dhabi and, and fight this guy. So of course that's a that's an easy pick if you're like truly a fighter, you wanna and you get offered you wanna sit in a room or do you wanna fight someone? That was a that was a pretty easy choice for me. Yeah, I think where where Karen is confused is that um, she keeps thinking that you're not just fighting this guy Mahab Mahab, whatever's his name. He, she think you're fighting against uh, Islam, uh, the religion Islam. And I tried to tell whole, her that guy's religion. religion is Islam, but he's not. That's not his fucking name for her, and she's confused. Um, she doesn't get it. She doesn't get it. We, we he get it. Get you know, it. So he that's the. So the. Um, so the. So how you feel uh, being outside of? Um, you, you're gonna be homesick for you for your country, uh, uh, New Zealand. Uh so. My my wife and my daughter are coming out uh, November third, so they they just booked their the UFC booked their tickets today, um. Oh. So, yeah, there's like I'm pretty much just train eat sleep train at the moment, so there's no point in them coming out now. But I'll go to Abu Dhabi, I'll come back to Las Vegas. My family will be there in the in the in oh, a day okay. or two, so perfect. So they're not going to Abu Dhabi. No, they're not going to Abu Dhabi. Hey, check it, um, easy, uh, Dan Hook. Um, I like the way you say it. I'm not, I'm not making I, fun. Yeah, I can see that. Uh, I see that. I'm not, I'm crazy, but I'm not stupid. I might be dumb, but I'm not stupid. Yeah, you are. Um, so, so, you're, 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 
You're all those things. So Karen and I have a lot of questions, you know, because um, a lot of people, look, let's face it, for some reason, Australia, it's almost like you guys, is, you, you, you're old enough now, you're too young, but you know about this. You know how there's, um, there was VHS and there's Betamax? <laughs> and then VHS was win the war. And, and we, you don't know. I have no I know VHS. I'm, I'm probably I'm in young. the time of VHS. You but too I'm too young for that. So and there were laser discs. And yeah, things, so laser. They, they also had extinct. laser disc. And then, All right. And then DVD took over. I feel like New Zealand is like the Betamax or the laser disc. Uh, somehow, we only know about fucking Australia. But you can't. None of us. We can't name aside from fucking Dan Hooker. We can't name any New Zealand people. We don't know any New Zealand band. We ah, don't know any Israel. Sanya, you know Israel the Sanya, that's another one. Well, of course. It, but I'm saying before you and fucking Israel are Sanya, uh, we, we are, nobody have an idea. All we know is that they do a movies where they have a hobbage and, and, and uh, Gandalf. And, yeah, all, the, all that stuff from, from JHH. Uh, what about all black? All Blacks, you are, you've seen the rugby the all team, Blacks. all Blacks, yes. The rugby team, best Wait, in the world, best in the world. You guys have a team that is all Black there? <laughs> uh, their uniforms are all Black, yes. Boy, I, I mean, now I'm even more fucking confused. Uh, let's move on <laughs> for her. Now, uh, <laughs> Yeah. Okay. So I got a question here because in in America here, because I've lived here for a long time. Now, like you're gonna be here, you know. And when you when you're gonna talk to people, people gonna think you're Australian. They're gonna they're not yeah. gonna know the difference. You're gonna be lucky if even if they think you're Australian, they're gonna think you fucking English. Maybe they don't know the deal. But for us, how how are you gonna um explain the difference between between Australian accent and, and the, the the New Zealand one? Um, I've actually had a couple of people in America um, ask me what what um, language we speak in New Zealand. I've had a, I've had that I've had well, that three uh, times now. So that's it's, Americans aren't that's that right, a, Dan. That's not that. a good start. You know what I mean? No, that's, that's not a good start. You, 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 but I would say that, that um, Australians is like a like a more twang and it'll come up and down. But New Zealand is. Um, very, very monotone, if you would. We speak at like the same you think you consistently, speak monotone? consistently at the same tone. How come well, every depends. Maori guy I know? How come every Maori guy I know talk like, "Hey, hey, how you going, Mike? Oh, oh, I like Den Hang Man. Oh, he's my favorite fighter. Yeah, Den but, Hang Man Hooker. You have talked to a few Maori boys, haven't you? Yeah. Uh, yeah, they they talk like that. They they sound like they apologizing with every fucking thing they say. Like, yeah, hey, how are you going? Hey, yeah. yeah. you're some, right. You're right. Have a, have a meat for Have some chips. That you know, sound too, that you know a lot of our you know, you know we we eat chips and fish. Yeah, you eat fish. You eat chips. Uh, fish. and you eat fish and chips. And, and 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 you eat. Get the fuck out of here! Now the cat has attacked me. It's like the movie. Uh, what, what's the one? Uh, Tales from the Dark Side. I can't get a fucking break over here for her. Um. So yeah, yeah, mate. I'll fucking unlock. Yeah. So teach me some some stuff. Okay. So if I'm gonna say, so I know that the Australian like when they like if I went to Australia, the guys would be like, hey, hey, going my, hey, going my. Okay, so how what what you would say instead of that, uh, like like instead like of instead of mate, we just say bro. Everyone everyone is bro. So in, in Australia you, you say, say good day, mate. And you go in New Zealand you just say how's it, bro? You can call you can call absolutely anyone, bro. I call everyone, bro. Oh, so that's even women or cousy. So if I talk cousin. to a woman, if if I'm gonna come up to a woman, would I go like, hey hey mm. go. How goes it? Bro? Depends, depends. If she's your if she's your friend, you'll you'll call her, bro. If if well, she's a if she's a friend. Her, her, if you're, uh, yeah, if you're lucky, I wouldn't call her, bro. He wants to know how you kick it to girls. It's, it, like Dan, you know who you're talking to. He you say, to "How's it going, sis? When he goes how's it going, sis? Zealand, how does he so, pick up a girl?" Hey, how you going, sis? Hey, you, you say, "Kill, kill the sis." Hey, what are you up to? Kill the sis. 
What are you, you up say, to? What are you up to? Yeah. It's got as easy as that. Easy as pie. That's easy what as meat do? pie? If, can easy I offer a meat pie? pie? You go, yeah. yeah, you could. You can say, what are you doing after this? That's the we'll fucking way you pie. hit on a girl's Hey, What are you doing after this for her? I, I know That's how to do it. that in America, too. But if they don't like you, they're going to go fuck, go fuck yourself. <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't matter what you say. So that's if you're ugly, yeah, it doesn't matter how work. Hey, sis, what the fuck are you doing after this? I know how okay. to do that. Okay, what the fuck I said. Yeah. But, Dan, I have a question because, and again, both of us, I'm sorry if we sound like, like a couple of children asking you every single nah, question. Nah, nah, like, not at all. Of tourism for, for New Zealand, but like. I am, I unofficially. Said, my role. I, I, I read a thing that said that there's more sheep than people there. Oh, there is, there is, there's, um, I believe there's 15 million sheep in New Zealand and 5 million people. So there's three times, three times as many sheep in New Zealand as people. Oh, God, are you on those, so, on those dark and stormy I'm, nights? I'm the travel. <laughs> hey, 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 what happens in the shed stays in the shed. I can't, oh, I can't God, speak to you. The shed. Oh, God. I, hey, how do I talk? Okay. Fair enough. If I'm drunk and, and okay, let's say I'm drunk. And then I try you, you, your favorite move, and I come up to one of these chicks, and I go, hey, hey, how you going? What are you doing after this? Sis. Yeah. And then yeah. she go, hey, go fuck yourself, Hinata Laranja. And then I, if I want to go and to meet a sheep, what kind of line can I use on that one? What do you say to, to get on a sheep? Mm, I don't know if that's... Um, what are they into, Poha? Huh? Say anything. I don't know if you got to say anything. Any stuff? But I have to be kind. Just talk to a sheep. I've never huh? picked one up. I can't. I can't speak. Just I can't speak. A, I live in I the city. I doubt that very much. Yes. I doubt that very much, Dan, Dan Hangman. Uh, because <laughs> when I when uh, when I was when I was in Melbourne, they I said, "How come you guys?" I tried to find out about um, uh, New Zealand, like Kiwis, and they just dismissed that one. Ah, uh, they go, "Yeah, they just a bunch of hicks. They sheep. Nah, they fuck sheep." Melbourne's. Uh, yeah, we might fuck them, but then we ship them all the way around the world and you guys eat them, so. Oh, God, I, I don't eat that one. They have them in the effing mutton. That's her. <laughs> She's Jamaican. They, she eat the fucking sheep, the curry goat. She the eat all that one. I don't eat meat anymore, curry goat is pretty good. Yeah. Curry goat is honestly, good. Yeah. Not, not for nothing, though, Dan, but honestly, it does seem like you New Zealanders are trying to keep that place a secret, right? Because like he said, <laughs> Australia is always like, people talk about how great it is. I've only been to Australia and I went to Gold Coast and it was stunning. I know some people who have been to New Zealand and they said it's unbelievably incredible. Like it's beautiful. They said it's like one of the most beautiful places on the earth. But like Hanato said, anytime you ask somebody from New Zealand what it's like, you guys are pretty damn cagey. Like, do you not want us to come there or something like that? <laughs> You are pretty quiet about how cool that place is. Um, yeah, you want to keep it. You want to keep it a secret. You don't want too many yeah. people at your favorite beach, too many people at your favorite spot, clogging it up, making a mess. You rather rather play it cool and and keep it to yourself. Yeah, that's yeah. what I think it is because I even ask Americans who moved there and shit, and I talk. To, I go, "What's it like? What's the? Pe oh, it's beautiful. Uh, what about the people? The girls? The this? The that? Ah, oh, it's just nice." Uh, Okay, next. they just want to change the subject. I go, what the fuck? Is, uh, it's a mystery over here. Yeah, it'll end up, it'll end up too busy. You have too many people at your beach. You got nowhere to put your towel. No, you know what are you doing? Keep yeah. it, keep, keep quiet. Keep them out. They want to keep your uncle Hanach away from the fush and the chops. He caught on you. I, I'm gonna get that one anyway. Um, Dan, you are married, and you and you have a you have children. We know famously we've we've seen the videos, the heartbreaking videos of of you being separated with with the. Um, Wait, you know, what's with, the hawkers? The what's the hawkers in the background? What? What's the hawkers? The hawkers in the background. The boys, are, the boys are training. I'm still at the gym. The boys yeah, are. All those guys that uh, they're in the presence of greatness and to shut the fuck up over here. <laughs> Who's yeah, training I'm over here? What guys you got there? I'll, I will. And I'm only asking you. My this. boys, my boys here. Yeah. How are we? Cause Frankie ah, is is, uh, Billy is Billy Badass. Big Bad Bill. Billy. Oh, Big Bad Bill. Billy Badass. Renato says, yeah. "What's happening?" Huh? He says, "What's happening?" He likes the look of you, bud. 
Not like that. Right. Why you said that <laughs> I like to look at you? For wait, he like to look at me or I like to look at him? Okay, you're him. But a both. Uh, he looked like Hickey Schroeder yeah. from the Silver Spoon. Oh, he does. There we go. Okay, okay. there we go. Let's hear it now. Yeah, you you remind me of Hickey Schroeder from Silver Spoon. <laughs> you remember that one? I hate that movie. I hate that and movie. Also, the movie The Champ. You know where the he champ. goes, Champ. The champ. Oh my god, the champ. Yeah, the champ. champ. Let's go, baby. Let's go ahead. Good okay. to see you. Hey, so Dan, question for you, because I was trying to look up um and I couldn't I couldn't figure it out, but I I know for a fact that every time on Twitter I have mentioned your name, the words like oh shit or oh my god or holy crap or whatever have probably followed right so you're a fighter that everybody who follows the UFC everybody who is a fan of you you're a guy who always throws down and I think that's something that like no matter what no matter who you're fighting we always know it's going to be exciting are you a guy who was always a throw down person like is that a quality that you've had all your life or is that something that you discovered through fighting that you had this intensity and this ferocity that you were able to um, sort of exhibit there? Because you fight like like a total badass, and 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 a lot of people don't fight the same way that you do. Um, yeah, I would say it's I would say it's like pretty natural, and it's kind of instinctively just being always um, the way I kind of go out and fight. So yeah. Like, you just, it's the cage. Like, you can't hide in the cage. You can't, you know, you can pretend to be a tough guy, but as soon as you get out there, you get tired and someone gets on top of you, it's going to it's gonna show who's who's really the tough guys. You know what I mean? So, I feel like just when you're in the cage, like, your your true personality or your true self has the ability to shine through. So, that's, like, that's all it is. You know, you don't have to say the wildest stuff or be the loudest guy. If you just get in that cage and... And just be yourself and, and let the world see it. That's all there is to it. Did you, when you was growing up, did you, what, what kind of kid, like, did you grow up in a, in a tough neighborhood? Did you have, like, some kids fucking with you and you had to fight? You know, what, what kind of, yeah. what, what was the experience there? No. Uh, like, growing up, in, growing up in Auckland, <laughs> like, um, I don't know. Like, it's always been, like, a pretty hostile spot you know you walking down oh, the yeah, road. It's, like that. it's like hawaii or something like that like the guys kind of kind of like um, like people people will fight with their hands in, in auckland like people will people will if they got like a problem no one's really gonna like i know in other places there's guns and knives and all that yeah. kind of crazy yeah. stuff but in new zealand if 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 you just challenge someone to a, to a fight like Chances are they're just gonna they're gonna accept it, and you're just gonna use your hands, and it's kind of gonna just gonna be a like a fear match. It's not gonna be like anything wild and um, too many yeah. weapons and well, stuff that's like good. that. But in fights, like growing up, I know more than anyone else I was growing up with. Like everyone, it seemed like everyone was getting in fights. I think it's just, yeah. I think just young boys getting up. You know, they can they can be a bit wild and be a bit hostile, and it's just like that release of aggression. So I would say yes. But no more than anyone else I was with. Well, do they have that stuff? You know how they have that dynamic with like the um, with, in Hawaii, you know, like they they the with the guys who is like ho the Hawaiian native, they have the thing with like the white boys where it's like they yep. call them howley and shit. Howley, you yeah. know, like do you have a stuff like that with like maybe some chimey like if you get caught in the Hong area, you have some Maori and they go like, do they have a word that's for like a white boy? They go like, hey, listen, uh, howkey, yeah, get the fuck out of here. Um, now, nah, like white people call uh palangi, that's what you call a, a white person, palangi. What that means, that's Maori, that, Maori for like a palangi, it's just uh, like Maori for a white person, but yeah, like, but it doesn't the, mean like, like white, like the marshmallow or some shit like that, like, like, no, nah, it's not meaning, like it's, it's not like a, a made up. It's not. Um, it's not too too much of a bad thing. Uh, but yeah, there's like a lot of um, like Pacific Islanders in Auckland, especially and a lot of Maori in Auckland. So yeah, but if they start a fight, they'll you'll be like just walking down the road, and they they go shh shh, and then when you you're looking like this, eh? and they'll say it, and then you look because they're making a noise. You look, yeah. and then they go. They ask you, you got a high problem? Oh, That's what they say. That's the number one way I got into fights growing up is you, you go, they get your attention, they come out, hey, 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 
And then you look, but, and then he goes, "You got an eye problem." Oh. And then you get, but, and then it's a fight. It's a fight from there. But are you so? But you're. I hate to tell you, Dan, you're kind of a white guy. Like, are you're not? Are you part Maori? Because every Maori that I've known um, was much bigger than you. Like, just <laughs> different. Like, I'm. I'm not. I'm not. Not for nothing. But like, they were at least three fifty. Yeah. Like, no, he's a white. Know. He's a white guy. <laughs> You're just a white guy. I've got, yeah, pop Modi. I got some, um, I got some Modi in me. How much of that one do you have? Uh, no, nah, not too much. Obviously, by the look of me, I'm not the, I'm not yeah. the, I'm not the tannest guy in the world. So not, no, plus, not much. Plus, because you're, you're as Modi as you feel. That's all my, that's all my. Not like a Maori. Yeah, but my schnazol has been broken a bunch of times, and it just that's gets true. bigger. It just gets, it just gets bigger every time it gets broken. Like a kiwi, it's a, a, it, it, it's a beautiful bird, Boha. A bird of peace and of love. Listen, the, the reason you're, if your nose has been broken, Dan, it's only because you've been in incredible fights and I have worked several of them. So um, you are always very exciting. But like I said, you, you took on the um, opportunity to fight Islam Makhachev. This is a person that a lot of people say no to. Um, I know you just came from wrestling practice. Is that something that you sort of know you're going to need against him? I mean, because all of those, it, it, it seems like a, a, a great generalization, but we know about the Dagestani handcuffs. We know that people from that part of the world are really great at wrestling, and that just is a fact. So, um, so what is your preparation like, and what do you sort of have to do mentally to prepare for somebody that you know is just constantly going to try to take you down and smother you like that? Yeah, well, I'm resting, uh, resting every day, a couple of times a day, like starting from just the worst positions possible, like starting from, um, starting from the wrist ride, starting with them on my back, starting with them in turtle, starting within these terrible positions. And I just think that that's something that um, like a lot of fighters don't do. They, they like to start from positions they're good at. They like to start um, yeah. in positions where they can defend and then they get put in these bad spots and fights and they find themselves in a bit of trouble, but it's something that I've always done. I've just always, I'll, st I'll happily go down and let someone start and mount and just start in the worst positions possible. So it's something I've been doing my entire career. So it's like, and it's not, it's not a thing you get to show off very often. It's just like the worst positions. But that's why when you see me in fights and I'm hurt and I'm tired and someone's on top of me, like I'm still able to shift and move just because I'm comfortable in those bad positions. Like I don't, I don't panic like a lot of people and I don't really like run and hide from them like a lot of people do in training. So to prepare for it, that's all I've been doing in the gym is just getting, I been get, you know, I five, got a six guys in rest. Go. Um, Shoot. I see a lot of time um, in a lot of MMA fight and with high level fighter even, you know, especially the ones that's very good at striking. When they get taken down and then they get into like half guard, you know, I feel like it's like they, I see them just sit in a traditional half guard and they just don't, they don't move from there, you know? Like I seen a lot of fight get end with a guys like, um, you know, these guys who like, like for instance, uh, Darren Chill with, um, with um, uh, your, your boy, Kara, your, my brain is not working right now. Israel? No, uh, Darren Chill with uh, fucking, uh, who he just lost to. Um, Ah, Darren Chill. Who the anyway. fuck he just lost you? Huh? Yeah. I know the quick. I know. I understand. I know. I remember once you fight. Did he fight Vittori? No. Yeah, I'm gonna say it was Marvin no, it's a because black Marvin's guy. about to fight Costa. It's no, a, it's black, a black, guy. black guy. Oh, Cannonier. Oh, Jared. Right. Jared Cannonier. No, it wasn't no. Jared Cannonier. Or oh. was it? I don't fucking remember. Anyway, he was get stuck. Brunson. Yeah, Brunson. That's all. The hair. Brunson. Brunson. So he was get stuck. Long Brunson. He was get stuck in half guard, okay? And there was like no movement on the bottom half of his body. Like he's just stuck there. Just stuck. And I see that all the time. Do you know what is the lockdown in half guard? I do. Why I never see nobody in the UFC ever fucking use the lockdown. They just sit there in the half in the old school half guard and just don't do nothing there because mm -hmm. 
you get so much, you can leverage the guy with the fucking lockdown. Yeah, I don't know. I've got, uh, I'm training with Craig Jones in the morning and I'm getting, we're going to run over some half guard positions. So that'll oh be, um, I'll, I'll keep, I'll keep you updated. I'll be so excited to see the stuff in there because I see guys end up there and then the other guy on top, like the, the guy you're fighting is like just, you know, just do the, do the beatings. And then the guy is kind of just there surviving, you know? And I'm like, let's I move understand. this fucking guy with your legs. Let's try to, let's try to uh, uh, manipulate him with your legs. And they, they, they laying there like a paraplegics, like a, um, <laughs> you know, like, um, you, no, I'm serious. You know, you know, like the guy on the, the family guy who have the legs, you know, the, the guy. They, they lay there the, like the fucking legs is, is, is like, like a linguine to her, like, like, like Charlie Murphy said. Them legs was like a linguine and shit. Please don't do the linguinis. Please I'm not don't gonna do that. Do, I promise you right now, I'm not going to do the linguini league. It's going to drive me. If I see that, it's going to drive me out of my fucking mind if I see that again. Especially question from you. you. Question for you, Dan. Training with Craig, and I asked Alexander Volkanovsky about this as well. Has Craig gotten you into teeny tiny leopard skin shorts? <laughs> I don't think... I don't think that's my flavor, just quiet. I like them long. I like them long. That's uh, that's my short prep. If you see me fight, it's always going to be in, in the long shorts. No one needs to see these skinny legs. Yeah, because Craig is all about the teeny tiny shorts. I'll, I'll put up a photo of the shorts he's wearing tomorrow. And we'll see if he we'll see if he comes through. Craig, I think Craig it's is a sex symbol. I have a feeling he's a sex symbol. Yeah, he, he's a sex I'd symbol. Agree with that. I'd agree with that. I mean, I worked a couple <laughs> submission underground with Craig. I'm not. I'm not mad. You're not mad at no. Craigie. <laughs> yeah, in in a pinch, you you deal with Craigie. I'm not talking about what I'm doing <laughs> in a pinch. Okay, I'm talking to Dan on. Hooker right now. That's true. So Dan, um, with your with your fighting though, what is your um? Do you do you sort of plot out um, a trajectory well, that, to get to the top? You know, like some people are very methodical. Some people say they want to be champ and they have a route to the top. Some people just want to fight. Some people want to collect as much, you know, performance bonuses and just be a prize fighter. Like, what's your what's your what's your goal? What do you want to achieve? I mean, because obviously you're incredibly talented and. And and everybody loves to watch you fight. So I'm just curious what your goals are. Uh, I feel like for me, um, it's just been like a natural progression. It's not like um, that. Was, so it was pretty incredible to to like watch Israel's role. Like I was already in the UFC and been in there for years before he kind of come. And he's been saying it the whole time. He's like, like before he'd even had an MMA fight, he's saying I'm going to be UFC champion. I'm going to be this and I'm going to defend the belt. Like he's always said that. And just to watch him that come to fruition has like been pretty crazy, but that's not how I've been. Like mine's always just been like set a goal and achieve it, set a new goal, achieve it. Like I just wanted to be in the UFC. And then I got there and I was like, well, this, I need to do more, you know? And then had to, you know, I just wanted to be like a, like a guy to win fights and put on exciting fights. Like I looked up to, you know, like, um, like Matt Brown, Mike Pyle, like all these guys, Jim Miller, Ross Pearson. Like I looked up to those guys who just used to get out there and put on shows, you know. And then you achieve that, and you're just like, well, what's next? I want to be, I want to be champion. So that's just the the position I am now is is working my way towards the title, you know. And I kind of have a plan, but um, just my uh like excitement or adrenaline will get the better of me, you know what I mean? Like. <laughs> I have like a nicely laid out plan and then so as soon as someone offers me a fight, I get excited and I jump straight on it. So it's, yeah, it's good. It's, it's good to have a plan, but I like, um, that's why I like the sport. I like the excitement of it. I like that, that, you know, someone can throw you a curveball and it completely can change the direction of your life, you know, over the last week. And now I've, now I live in America. It's like, uh, and that happened, that decision happened in a phone call and it happened, um, yeah, it happened in a two-minute phone call that uh, the trajectory of my life um, completely shifted from going back to New Zealand and all of that kind of stuff to now living in America, and we'll see how it goes. Like, uh, but well, to me, that's that's part of living. 
then win, lose, or draw, you know, you're the kind of guy, that attitude is what makes people love you, yeah. you know? And, and totally. when it's all said and done, you know, like for instance, when you think of like Muhammad Ali, you know, you don't think about, yeah, I bet you we, none of us could, could handle off his, his, his fight hacker now, yeah? Right. Mm. We, we don't know who, which one, you know, what his fucking hacker was. All we know, he was the greatest, you know? And we, we remember how he fought in there and how, what he yeah. did in those fucking fights. We don't remember, oh, he won this one, lost this or whatever. So it's, you know, too many people, I mean, so many people is concerned about the legacy and I got to uh, be strategic. But the heel fight fan, is, is, you know, he specs someone like yourself, no matter what fucking happened, you know? Yeah, like, it's, it's pretty crazy. Like, I can honestly say, like, Hannah Maha, I have, in terms of my fight career and in terms of my life, I don't regret absolutely anything. So if you, if I've pissed you off, then I'm, I'm sorry, but I don't, I don't regret doing it because I wouldn't be the person I am today without all of those exciting fights and all of those wins and all of those losses and that whole story. I wouldn't take any of it back. Like it's because I wouldn't be the fighter that I am today. Um, and not many people can say that. Not many people can honestly sit down and say they live their life with absolutely no regrets. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, and honestly, I think that's what is so exciting about you because just from my side of the equation, when I'm talking about your fights and when I'm setting it up and I'm trying to explain to people, you know, a lot of the time I sit with the analysts and there are fighters that are incredibly talented, right? There are fighters that are, that are whatever, whatever. And then there's like fighters, fighters. And you're a guy that all of the fighters are like, well, F yeah, I got to watch that Dan Hooker fight, you know, and that, and that is really cool. And I, I guess I wonder, and maybe this is kind of what Hanato was asking too, that, you know, it's great to have these goals of being, you know, champion and all this stuff, but like, you've already solidified yourself as, as a fan favorite and as a guy, like, it's almost like to me, you don't need to be champion to prove how great you are. And I, and, and I have to imagine like, that's sort of cool to kind of know that already, right? That like, you've already made an imprint for fight fans. Does that, is, does that resonate with you? Yeah, like it's pretty cool. Uh, it's because you can't like you can't fake that. That just um, yeah. that's what I that's what I feel like people like genuinely like is that you can't you can't fake like being a fighter's fighter. You <laughs> because people are gonna know you turn down fights. Now I just got the critical low battery. I got sixty seconds left. Oh, so shit, I want to say. God. Oh, no. I want to say thank you for having me on. It's been an absolute pleasure. I'm a big yes. fan. Hanato, you are an absolutely hilarious man, and I appreciate talking to you. I appreciate that, too. I'm yes. a fan of yours always, my brother. Yes, thank we you love very much. You. And safe travels, safe travels to Abu Dhabi if you, just, if you dump out here, but we really uh, appreciate you joining us. And yeah, you're just like, you're just a guy that everybody has to show up to watch a Dan Hooker fight. Like, nobody's like, meh, I don't know. <laughs> oh, well, I promise. I promise this one's going to be something special and this one will be uh, really exciting for everyone. Okay, I remember your fucking legs. If I see those linguinis, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to came out to New Zealand and get you. Oh, I think his shit just went down. You see the... the I think uh, it went too. I think it went too. All right. Well, listen. Oh, but, look at him fading away. You know what, though? You know what's sad about this? We might be stuck what? with that because he's not going to be able to, like, sign off now. So we're probably <laughs> stuck with, like, him in that position. <laughs> Is that right? Is it going to be stuck it, on the camera look, like Look, it looked like that to me. Unless, can you give him the boot somehow? Oh, no, no. Oh, no. there he oh, goes. There you go. There yeah. he goes. Okay. Uh, Hanato. Yeah. Um... If he wasn't already people's favorite fighter, yeah, he should be people's favorite fighter. Yeah, he's got a great attitude. He's okay. You know, you, you got to love that guy. I don't know anybody that don't like it, Dan Hooker. You know, maybe I only know people, maybe they hood against him if he's fighting somebody they know or some shit like that. Other than that, they, they love the guy, you know? What's not to like? And if I'm honest, like, yeah, I love me some Pauly Paul Felder. Yeah, I want those two to fight like every other week and just fight to draws. <laughs> yeah, but they're gonna kill each other. You know what I'm saying? No, but that's yeah. what I'm saying. Like, yeah, I don't want either one of them to lose. Yeah, but I want those two to fight each other all the time. Yeah, but it's those kind of fight that those two guys is killing each other. The ones that are I gonna know. leave them all fucked up for, huh? I know, I know. 
Ja. Hallo, Irmsen.